Well, it's a new day. Warm outside. It's got to be 20 degrees out there. For, let's say October 24, 25. But this time, this time we're going to do a little more planning, a whole lot less working. Well, let's see how the glue up came. Luckily, there's a Tim Hortons just five minutes down the road. Get myself a coffee in the morning. Tackle these jobs. A little bit of go go juice. Well, let's take a look. They say they can never have enough clamps. What they say is, is well, it's true. The other part is you gotta store these clamps somewhere. Look at that. They're not pretty good. A little bit of sanding. Gotta do some trimming here on the side. This is a little bit too long as you can see on the sides. But I I expected that. This piece, well it's got a bracket here. Probably glued on. I decided to leave it. No point in trying to pull that one out. And yes, that will be the outside, you know, not bad. And off we go. Well, here we are at the table saw. I got the pieces. I just need to trim off this top piece. Different ways I can do this. I'm going to try this route. Everything here is ought to be square, ready to go. Let's see. Repeat it for this one. 
Well, I finished it. You can see there's dust all around me. I'm gonna have to put, put a dust collector on this baby. Been meaning to do that now for some time. But anyways, all the pieces, they come out pretty good. You can see. I got one more cut to do, but because of this ledge here that I didn't remove, I'm gonna have to do something different. So, So I take my square and move it over on the other side, but that will effectively cut off my, my bar right here. So that's a no-go. I have to come up with another plan. Well, let's do it anyways, let's see. I think I've done this once before, and I put a hole through this, and I did. I'll just lower this a bit, make sure. I'm looking for a new fence anyways right here. So, let's do this. have to do some sanding on the top and then come up with a cutout for gotta put some couple of holes in here for handles so far well so far so good well I've had a little moment here to think about this Gonna need to drill a couple of holes here in order for the fingers to reach in and, and pick up the box. So I've made some measurements. I think I'm gonna put both the center, but I think I'll do two holes. I got a hole saw cutter here. That means I'm gonna have to set up that drill press again. And right now the table is at the bottom. That, that's going to be a, a monster to do, but let's have a look here. Got this. These little holes, the cutters. If I can find one that I want to use. I think would be a good diameter. Let's try this one here. It looks like about oh, an inch and a quarter. Inch and a half, inch and a half. Let's see if I put that there. Inch and a half. Lots of room for the fingers to go through. If I make two of these, it'll be like a slot. Put one on one side, one on the other side. Now that everything is flat, I can use that drill press a whole lot safer and maybe more effective than, than I did last time. Well, let's see. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, let's see what the next, next one is underneath. I don't want the hole too big. Hey, I'll go with that one. Let's see what that is. Inch and a quarter. All right. Let's go with that. Well, it keeps me going in the mornings. So 
So I've done an outline of this circle right here, this cutter right here. I'm going to do two of them side by side and do a slot in between them to sort of make like a slot for the at least two fingers to go in. Need to put in a center punch. I do have center punches, but you know what? A nail works just as good. This thing right here, this is a tack hammer. I gotta show you this. This is a tack hammer that I made in high school when I took machine shop. Grade 10, if you can believe it. I still have it. I wonder if this thing here is still on that. You know. I learned all the tricks of machining. Well, it's a little tough right now. You know, knurling, the tapering, and doing some lathing over here, as well as doing some uh, threads on this tack hammer. Oh, how long ago was that? 1973? There it is. I still have it. So using my ancient tack hammer, I'm just going to put a couple of center punches on here. So drill these two holes. Yeah, I think that should do it. And one next to it. Now, got to work on that drill press. That's going to take some time. So I muscled this up all the way from the bottom to where it is now, clamped it in place. That's the table that is, this table right here. I got the door open behind me to give me some more light. It'll probably give me a lot of backlighting too. I clamped the two boards together. Oh, I slightly missed out of alignment here. I don't know, I can't do that. I clamped the two boards together so I said I can drill a pilot hole through the two of them. There we go. I'm going to drill a pilot hole through both boards. You can get some light on here. It's all clamped down this time. And I got one drill bit. Go through the two of them at the same time. Hopefully in the same spot. And then I'll drill the holes. And away we go. whole lot easier than what I did last time. <laughs> so I put the whole saw here. I, I can't see it from all this light. Right there it is. It's there. Fortunately this stroke right here isn't deep enough. That means I have to raise this table yet again. Here we go. Use my back. <clears throat> I'm sure the new designs here have a motor to them, or maybe some gears and, and a lever in order to do this, but we're talking 1940s here. I think that should do it. Put a board under here and find out. Yeah. Okay, well, we're still to getting there. Well, it's here, it's ready to go. I got it clamped in place. Well, I gotta tighten this clamp. So the board is clamped to the table. And the table is clamped to the post. The post is clamped to the actual machine itself. This thing here reminds me of uh, Alien. Here we take this apart. Way back here. Uh, if you can see it there. No. Reminds you of the movie Alien. This is his head. But moving right along. Let's see. I got a pilot hole. Two pilot holes I just drilled. Another drill down here. As well as a hole saw. Fingers crossed.
Oh, it sounds like it's almost through. We could flip this over and go from the other side. I will definitely send it through. <clears throat> yeah, maybe that's what, what I'm going to do. But I got another hole here to drill next to it. So let's, let's do that. Just have to reposition the board. And let's make the second hole. The idea is to get two holes side by each, something like this. And then I'll just cut a slot across them. And that's that. So far so good. I'll flip the board over and repeat for the other one. Well, that one's gonna be fun. It's got that brace. It's got that brace. Oh, yeah. Okay. I flipped it over. Have a little coffee. And let's see what happens. I should be able to take out a wheel. That's the idea cut out a circular hole and I should get a wheel from this. And there it is. It's hot, so I don't want to touch it right now. But that's what we got uh, a wheel. So far, so good. Now we just have to take that apart and do it for the other hole. So I took it apart, and well, you can't see it in the camera, but here it is. It's a wheel. Center hole, cut on both sides. So now I have a one hole cut here. I'm gonna do the same thing next to it so I get two holes next to each other. And then I'll just cut a slot across them just to give it some, some width. So far so good. Okay, this is hole number two. Got to record it. Never know what's gonna happen, so I only have this one shot at this. Remember, I'm only cutting half a circle here so half the circle's already been cut from the other hole. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Yep, like a charm. We can take this out. And here it is. Like I said, it's got half a circle here from the prior cut. So I overlapped the two cuts. And let's see what it was that I did. What I, what I did. You never have enough clamps. Eh? And there it is matter of cleaning this up right here and I have something to, to hold up the table well it, it's a bench it's all set up for the other board 
But while I remember, I just got to mention, I've, I've said a couple of times now that you can never have enough clamps. True. It's not just clamps, it's also a variety of clamps. You need to have different varieties of clamps. You've got short clamps, long clamps, well these C clamps, and a couple of other different style clamps. So it's more than just can't have enough of them, you've got to have a variety of them as well. But let's go ahead and uh, drill this one. One down and I'll do the rest off camera. So I made those, well these two. I was going to finish this off camera, do the back side and that way I'll make a wheel. But I have this brace right here that's causing me a problem. I put this on here, that brace hits the bottom, I need some light, hits the bottom of my table and it's, oh, it's about two inches away from where it needs to be. Just a pain, that's all this really is. So you know what this means? Well, I gotta... I gotta move this table yet again. Here we go. One of the beauties of this particular table or a drill press right here is that center post. I'm able to swivel the table all 360 degrees all the way around. So I've, I've moved it over. Hopefully it'll get, and it does. Lines up with the hole. Uh, can't see it, there we go, right there. So I'm going to clamp this down and finish the job. Coffee's over there. So I pulled down my, uh, my, my Workmate 300. It was sitting up there. You may have seen it in a few moments ago. And I pulled out my, <clears throat> my, uh, what is my jigsaw. And I'm going to just clean up these holes. I've got everything here clamped on onto my uh, workmate. This workmate is as old as that table saw or that the drill press is right there. Well, it's not as old. I've had it as long as I've had that drill press. It is a handy, well, one, two, third hand, this uh, workmate 300. Now let's see what we got here. Oh. Shouldn't take much, just that make a little slice. Just repeat, repeat, repeat. Well, there's my Workmate 300 resting rail right next to the fish. I think that fish may be about, oh, in comparison to that Workmate, maybe five years younger than as long as I've had that. And well, there's the, the infamous drill press along with that very long column. As you can see how this does come in handy, that's why I haven't replaced it. I don't know if they make them as, as large as this one anymore. And there's my hole saw. 
that I used along with the center bit. And now on to the rotor. I'm going to clean up the edges on these pieces. There they are down there. Just soften up the edges using this rotor. And that ought to be done for this project. So here I am. I got the rotor on top of my table saw. I'm going to need to do a little test piece. It was already preset from other jobs that I've done in the past. It's one noisy machine. It also makes a heck of a lot of dust. So this is a, this is a sample piece that I cut from the board that I'm working on. I'm just going to do a little routing on it and see how it looks. When you do something this small, careful, very careful. That, that is rough, really, really rough. I think this uh, bit of mine right here is dull. Uh, now I have others, I just have to change this one. Luckily, I happen to have another set of router bits. My son gave me this for Christmas a year ago. And I put it in here the size that I think is best, and we'll do well, another test. This is so much better. That's in round too. Well, let's get started on these boards. Well, nothing left to do now except to go ahead and router these all the way around. I'll do one pass on camera and take care of the rest off. much more to do. I'm getting my own safety rules here. I gotta definitely turn up these sleeves. A lot of get caught up in, into that. And then well I'll go ahead and finish these boards. Well they're all done. At least my part of it. Everything here has been softened. I'll bring it around to show you. 
So I've softened all the corners, all the edges you can see here. As well as the hole here, which I cut. All that's left for me to do now is to, well, a whole lot of vacuuming. You got a lot of dust here. I do really do got to put a dust collector onto this contraption of mine here, the, uh, the table saw. And I'm sure I can rig something up here for, for the router as well. In the meantime, I'm going to pass these on to the, the missus. She's going to take care of all the sanding, painting, and putting it all back together again.